drive it up. I'm your host, Eric Morgan. We've got a great show for you today. We've got mashed potatoes that Chef Todd's going to be talking about, the cranberries, the uh, hot cocoa. It'll be a great show. He's also got some, some tips for you today that are uh, real nice. So let's go to Chef Todd in the kitchen. Fellow thrivers, freeze dried lovers, I cannot wait to tell you yes, finally we have mashed potatoes that are gonna blow you away. And guess what? It is non GMO, there's no artificial flavors, there's no artificial colors. The ingredient deck is difficult, it actually says potatoes. Right out of Idaho, these are the best potatoes. You're gonna love it in all your mashed potato favorites. Hello fellow Thrivers, as we've been out visiting you in your neighborhoods, trying to thrivalize with you, we've been asked a lot of questions. And these questions are great concern to us. We wanna answer them. So we decided to use Thrive It Up as our avenue. We've created a new segment on Thrive It Up called Ask Chef Todd. All you have to do is tweet me using the hashtag AskChefTodd. You can ask us the question and we will answer you. Some of those questions and answers will be reviewed on Thrive It Up. So all you gotta do is start tweeting. So our first recipe for our new, brand new Thrive mashed potatoes is a garlic herb mashed potato. We're gonna start with a hot pan. We're gonna add butter. Okay, we're gonna add our garlic. A little fresh garlic. And I love that sizzle. That's the Thrive sizzle. You're gonna let that melt down just for a minute. And let that garlic sweat and steep out. And that garlic's really gonna release its flavor into the pan, into that butter, which is then gonna flavor these delicious Idaho potato flakes, the Thrive mashed potato. Once the butter melts and the garlic comes up, simmers and sweats for just a moment. Then we can go ahead and deglaze the pan by adding our water. Now, other potatoes, um, instant potatoes, mashed potatoes, would have you add milk. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use Thrive Instant Milk. So we're gonna add our Thrive Instant Milk right into the pan and allow that to rehydrate and instantly, you're gonna have milk and butter, which is our base to make the mashed potato flavors. Now we're gonna season these with a little bit of salt, that's Thrive Salt, and a little bit of Thrive Chef's Choice All-Purpose Blend seasoning. We're also gonna add a little salad blend. This is our herb blend, one of our herb blend mixes. That's gonna go right into the milk and butter. And then also a little bit of our Italian seasoning. Stir this in. Allow that to come up, and that's going to steep all those flavors together. Because remember, this is just potato, pure potato. And we're going to add that in there, and then you're going to have a perfect garlic mashed potatoes. If you don't want a garlic mashed potatoes, potato, a simple mashed potato recipe is basically the same format. We're going to add butter to the pot. We're going to melt this down. As that's melting, we can add our water. We're gonna add a little bit of our Thrive Spice or Chef's Choice All-Purpose Blend seasoning. A little bit of our salt. And again, a little bit of our Thrive Instant Milk Powder. So super easy, super convenient, mashed potatoes in seconds. Now of course, with mashed potatoes, of course you've gotta to go to our Thrive Sauce line. Our Thrive Sauce line offers many different styles of sauce. One of my favorites is Espanol sauce, which is a savory beef gravy. And this beef gravy is so simple, you literally just have to sprinkle it in to boiling water or simmering water. And you make mashed potatoes with gravy that easy. Our milk, butter, and herbs for the garlic mashed potatoes are coming up, steeping, 
and letting all those flavors come out. While those come up, the potatoes are getting ready. Oh, that garlic mashed potato sauce that we're gonna put the potatoes in is just smelling up this kitchen. It is wonderful. I know the family will flock to the stove when you yell fried mashed potatoes. So what we wanna do is take the garlic mashed potatoes, garlic curry mashed potatoes that are here, and just literally sprinkle in the potato flakes and give it a little stir. It seems a little bit thin in the beginning. Don't you worry, after about a minute, those potatoes come back to life through that rehydration process, and presto, you have a creamy, smooth, delicious potato. Wow. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing with the regular mashed potatoes. Once your milk is hot, stir in your dried mashed potato potato flakes. Okay, this time you're gonna wanna reduce your heat so that you don't scorch or burn the bottom of that pan. Those potatoes will do its magic. Just let it work. All right, so now to show you how simple and easy this is. Mashed potatoes, that easy, that simple. Perfect consistency every single time. No lumps, smooth, delicious. All you gotta do is take a little bit of your fried gravy that took literally two minutes to make, right out of your home store, right out of your pantry, ready to go. Look at that perfect brown rich gravy every time. You can sprinkle a little bit more salad blend or Italian blend seasoning. And presto, you have a delicious gourmet mashed potato that you didn't have to peel, that you didn't have to purchase from the grocery store, that you basically add it into a pan, throw and go, stir, and your family's gonna love it. Again, here's the, here's the regular mashed potato. Look at that mashed potato, fried mash performance. Every single time, perfectly smooth. And you got yourself a nice, tasty treat. Now, on these mashed potatoes, as a professional chef, there's just nothing better than a real nice, fresh mashed potato. But I'm telling you, when you try these potatoes, you may never go back. That is the Thrive Way in the Thrive Can. This is Chef Todd right here from the Thrive Kitchen, driving it up. Fall is in the air, winter's on its way, and guess what? The holiday season is on our doorstep. So we wanted, of course, bring back some specialties. And yes, we are bringing back freeze-dried cranberries, as well as our hot cocoa mix. Both of these products are fabulous. So put these items on your queue and start enjoying them. Now the tip of this month is a tip that I've been trying to share at all the Summit Saturdays and I say hi to all of you who are Thrivalizing in your home. But Thrivalizing is a simple process. One, using Thrive Foods in recipes and cooking. And two, using Thrive Foods to take your family favorites and transform them into your Thrive favorites. So Thrivalizing, I challenge all of you to take our freeze-dried cranberries, our cocoa mix, and our new mashed potatoes and start Thrivalizing your current recipes and also creating new ones in this wonderful time of year. Chef Todd right here, can't wait for you to start thriving. Welcome to the brand new segment here on Thrive It Up called Ask Chef Todd. I have our chef, the man, the myth, the legend here, Chef Todd Leonard, and I've got a, little, a couple questions that we're gonna ask him in this brand new segment that we have called Ask, ask chef, chef Todd. Exactly, and the way you ask Chef Todd is through Twitter. They ask you a question on your Twitter account, at Thrive Life Chef, using the hashtag Ask Chef Todd. It's that easy. I love it. If you want your question answered by Chef Todd here on Thrive It Up, hit up Twitter, ask him any question you have on Thrive Foods, just like Christine Anderson did. We've got two awesome questions yep, here from Christine. Cool. So I'm going to dive right into these questions, put you right on the spot, okay? The you first betcha. question Christine asks, she says, first of all, I've been watching CT's videos for years 
and have two questions for him. Oh, baby. The first one, see, Chef Todd, I was gonna call you CT, that's what I call him. Friends call him CT. Is, why do you use butter brought from the, bought from the grocery store instead of Thrive Life butter powder in your recipes? Well, I mean, it's kind of a personal question. I kind of have an addiction to butter. <laughs> and <laughs> Let it out, big boy. <laughs> I have gone through therapy and uh, I'm coming around to Thrive Butter. But no, really, Thrive Butter has its place. Thrive Butter works great in flavoring any item with that butter flavor that you need. The only, the only drawback Thrive Butter has, powdered butter, is it doesn't have the same melting power. So in a cookie, fresh whole butter is gonna give you the spread, give you that richness that a powdered butter is not going to. Makes sense. But a powdered butter is going to be just fine for marinades, for cakes, for, for uh, even, I've used it in icing, finishing sauces with. Um, Thrive Butter is actually in all of our Thrive sauces. And so it has its purpose, it has its place. It's that wonderful f butter flavor, but if you want the, the texture and the richness from, from whole butter, um, you probably ought to use that whole butter for the melting. But Thrive Butter is awesome. So I, it, it has its great place. I like to flavor my vegetables, right? Yeah. So would would that be a good Absolutely. opportunity to so use So you're sauteing powder? your vegetables, just sprinkle a little Thrive Butter on there and it'll coat it. Money. All the little bit of the, the sweating from the vegetables and the liquid from the vegetables will actually create a nice little layer of flavor. So that's a great other way to use Thrive Butter. But Thrive Butter is wonderful and I hope that you start thriving with it and thrivalizing your recipes and getting to know how to use that Thrive Butter uh, to replace whole butter in your kitchen. And if you have a problem like me, there'll always be a place for whole butter, <laughs> but there's certainly a place in my heart for Thrive Butter. Okay, next question from Christine as well. She asks, is there any difference between our scrambled egg mix and our whole egg mix? Great question too. And this, our, both of our eggs are awesome. Let me just tell you, I love them. Um, I've never used a powdered egg like our scrambled egg that is so perfect. It's just like an egg. And the reason why is our whole egg is a powdered egg. Our scrambled egg is an actual crystallized egg. And so it's a little different. It's through that process of crystallization, you actually retrieve that egg texture mm. and the egg flavor and it doesn't take any odors or anything like that and the scrambled egg really was made for the cooking egg. It'll make your omelets, it'll make your quiche, it'll just be wonderful. Our scrambled egg is a little bit more expensive than our whole egg, so our whole egg has the advantage there. Both eggs will function very similar, but I've found that the scrambled egg functions sometimes on the court they shoot the three-pointers, or the whole egg maybe shoots the two-pointers. So I really love the scrambled egg mix. I use it for most everything, but I use the whole eggs also for things that, that maybe don't need to highlight that, that egg. Like, I don't use whole eggs to make my omelet, although it will work. I use the scrambled eggs to make my omelet, but I do use the whole eggs in muffins. I do use the whole eggs in my in, in, in cakes. So it's, it's a wonderful, they're both wonderful products. Great question. But hopefully that will explain the difference between those two egg products. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chef You betcha. Todd. What a great new segment, Ask Chef Todd. And if you want to get your question asked here live on Thrive It Up, go ahead and tweet Chef Todd at Thrive Life Chef using the hashtag AskChefTodd. Awesome. We'll see you next month. Thank you.